<coughs> Hi everyone, this is JJ Online Math Class. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are asked to find the value of x in this particular Olympiad equation. Okay, the first thing is let's simplify this particular question, this particular side, the left hand side. And to simplify that, we can write 9 as 3 squared over, we can write 4 as 2 squared, all right? Everything raised to the power of 9 over 4 is equal to x times root 6. All right, now 3 squared over 2 squared can be written as, when you have a squared, over b squared. You can write this as a over b squared, all right? a divided by b squared. Okay, so let's do the same here. So we can write this as 3 over 2 squared. Everything raised to the power of 9 over 4 is equal to x root 6, okay? All right, now we can express this 9 over 4. 4 divides 9, we are going to have 2 remainder 1, right? So it means that this same thing as 2 plus 1 over 4. So let's replace this with 2 plus 1 over 4. So we can write this as 3 over 2 squared raised to the power of 2 plus 1 over 4. Okay. Let's proceed. Recall the law of indices <clears throat> that states that A raised to the power of M raised to the power of N is equal to A raised to the power of MN. Now, let's, let's relate this to what we have here. This particular two is to be used to multiply this and this. So we are going to multiply this and this by these two. So it's going to be 3 over 2 raised to the power of 2 times 2 will give us 4 plus 2 times 1 over 4 is 2 over 4. Okay? Is equal to x root 6. Sorry, this is also equal to x root 6. Okay? All right. Now, we can write this as what? 3 over 2 raised to the power of 4 plus this divide itself 1. If we divide 4, we have to raise to the power of 4 plus 1 over 2. Okay? Is equal to x root 6. Recall that a to the power of b plus c. Okay? Is the same thing as a to the power of b times a to the power of c using the law of indices. That means we can rewrite the left hand side of this equation as 3 over 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 over 2 to the power of half. Okay? Is equal to x root 6. All right, now recall also that x to the power of half is same thing as square root of x, okay? So we can write this as 3 over 4, 3 over 3 divided by 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 over 2 is equal to x root 6. Okay, now there's something I want to do. I want to, for us to get the value of x, we need to remove this root 6, right? Then the only way to remove this root 6 is if I can get root 6, this side of the equation, and use it to cancel this. And the only way to introduce that here is if I multiply this by 2 and this by 2. Okay, so being that I multiply this by 2 over 2, I've really not multiplied it by anything. That is, if I have 3 over 2 times 2 over 2, this will still cancel itself. You still have 3 over 2. So I've not really introduced anything. So let's do that. And if we do that, we are going to have 3 over 2 
to the power of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 times 2 will give us 6. 2 times 2 will give us 4 is equal to x root 6. All right. Now, I've gotten what I want. Let me go ahead and separate this. Because using the rule of sort, the rule of sort states that root p over q is equal to root p over root q. So we are going to apply that rule here. Now, let's do that. So we have 3 over 2 raised to the power of 4. Okay, times square root of 6 over square root of 4 is equal to x root 6. Now, 3 to the power of 4 will give us 81. And 2 to the power of 4 will give us 16. Dot root 6 over square root of 4 will give us 2. Is equal to x root 6. Now, let's multiply both sides of this equation by 2 over root 6. Yes, let's multiply both sides by 2 over root 6. So, if we do that, we have 81 over 16 times root 6 over 2 times 2 over root 6, okay, is equal to x root 6 times 2 over root 6. All right, now root 6, we cancel root 6, and 2, we cancel 2 as well. So we are left with what? 81 over 16 is equal to, now here, square root of 6, we cancel square root of 6, and we are left with 2x. All right, now let's multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over 2, by half. So it's going to be 81 over 16 times half is equal to 2x times half. So 2, we can say 2, we are left with x. Then here, 81 times 1 is 81. 16 times 2 is 32 is equal to x. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 81 over 32. Sorry. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget to comment. Your comments means a lot to me because it helps to tell me how you feel about what I'm doing, any correction I need to take, and all that. So, in all, I say thank you for watching and I wish to see you next time. Bye.